Let's talk about passive XP gains from perks for troops. There are several perks that provide passive XP gains for troops. There was a question in the Discord about one of them. Let's look at all of them and see when they are triggered and what factors need to be true for each to be triggered. For all of the perks I'm looking at here, they are all checked once daily. The game calls it a daily tick. There is a lot that happens at the same time on the daily tick. So there's no way to tell specifically when all of it is completed. It starts at dawn, but where in that line do these XP perks run? You can assume that all the daily ticks will be done just after high noon. Most will be done before then, but it's a safe time to check if you're doing testing. The daily money gain loss is done during this daily tick. If you see the money change notice, then the daily tick is running or completed. I did some testing and these XP gains were always run just after high noon, but that was in my game. Your game may run all of these daily ticks faster or slower than mine. All of these perks require your party to be active. For the purposes of this discussion, it simply means that you're not a prisoner or dead, or if you disband a companion's party, it's no longer active. All of the perks I'm covering today are related to troops in your party. If you have a stack of 10 of one type of troop, say Imperial recruits, each recruit receives the XP gains. And since XP is shared among the entire stack, it will go toward leveling up individual troops. So if they receive 10 XP each, that would be 100 XP toward leveling up individuals. A recruit gets leveled up at 300 XP. So one of them will be leveled up every three days in this example. This is the reason for the strategy of leaving all of the troops in the stack alone until they can all level up at once. If you level up individuals, there will be less shared XP gains each day. Let's look at the perks. The leadership perk, combat tips. The description says plus two experience per day to all troops in party. The code says it'll trigger if the party is active and the party leader has the perk. In this case, all troops will get this XP bonus. The leadership perk, raise the meek. The description says plus four experience per day to tier one and two troops. The code says it'll trigger if the party is active, the party leader has the perk, and the individual troop is less than tier three. The description says tier one and two, but the code says less than three. So all troops tier zero through two will get the XP bonus. Tier zero, you may ask? Yes. Peasants are tier zero, and they will also receive this XP bonus. The polearm perk, drills. The description says, plus one bonus daily experience to troops in your party. The code says it'll trigger if the party is active and the party leader has the perk. All troops will get the XP bonus each day. The one-handed perk, military traditions. The description says, plus two daily experience to infantry in your party. The code says it'll trigger if the party is active, the party leader has the perk, and if the individual troop is infantry. In this context, infantry is defined as not mounted and not ranged. Some people would say that javelin wielding units are ranged, but the game uses the default group value to determine this not the weapons they actually use. If you're not sure, check the encyclopedia for that troop and see the default group they're in. Only infantry troops will receive this XP bonus. The athletics perk, walk it off. The description says, plus three daily experience to foot troops while traveling. The code says it'll trigger if the party is active, the party leader has the perk, the troop is not mounted, and the party is moving. It checks that the troops are on foot, so both infantry and ranged troops will receive this XP bonus. 
Also, it requires your party to be moving at the time this is checked. If you're in a settlement, you're not moving. If you're stopped on the map and hit fast forward, you're not moving. You must be moving from one point to another on the map at the time the daily tick checks. You can be moving for an entire day, and if you stop during the check and start moving again after, you will not get this bonus. The Athletics Perk, A Good Day's Rest. The description says, plus 10 daily experience to foot troops while waiting in settlements. The code says it will trigger if the party is active, the party leader has the perk, the troops are not mounted, and the party is in a settlement. It checks that the troops are on foot, so both infantry and range will receive this XP bonus. It also requires your party to be in a settlement at the time it's checked. The Throwing Perk Saddlebags. The description says, plus one daily experience to infantry troops in your party. The code says it will trigger if the party is active, the party leader has the perk, and the troops are infantry. It checks that the troops are not mounted and not ranged. Those troops will receive this XP bonus. The Bow Perk Trainer. The description is plus three daily experience to archers in your party. The code says it will trigger if the party is active, the party leader has the perk, and the troop is ranged. It checks that the troop is in either the ranged or horse archer default groups. This includes bow and crossbow wielding troops. If the troop meets these criteria, they will receive this XP bonus. The crossbow perk, Renowned Marksman. The description says plus two daily experience to ranged troops in your party. The code says it'll trigger if the party is active, the party leader has the perk, and the troop is ranged. This works just like the trainer perk we just saw and includes all troops in the ranged and horse archer default groups. This perk also includes both crossbow and bow wielding units. All of those troops will receive this XP bonus. The scouting perk, Forced March. The description says plus two experience per day to all troops while traveling with a party morale higher than 75. The code says this will trigger if the party is active, the party leader has the perk, the party morale is above 75, and the party is moving. All troops in the party will receive this bonus. So as long as you're moving and your morale is above 75, at the time this is checked, all troops in the party will receive this XP bonus. The scouting perk, Unburdened. The description says, plus two experience per day to all troops when traveling while overburdened. The code says this will trigger if the party is active, the party leader has the perk, the weight of your inventory exceeds your capacity, and the party is moving. If you have the overburdened speed penalty, your inventory exceeds your capacity. And as long as you're moving at the time this is checked, all troops in the party will receive this XP bonus. The Steward Perk, Seven Veterans. The description says, plus four daily experience for tier four plus troops in your party. The code says it will trigger if the party is active, the quartermaster has the perk, and the troops tier is four or greater. This is a quartermaster perk, not a party leader perk. This applies to all troops that are at least tier four. The steward perk, drill sergeant. The description says, plus two daily experience to troops in your party. The code says this will trigger if the party is active and the quartermaster has the perk. This is also a quartermaster perk, not a party leader perk. This applies to all troops, no restrictions. All troops will receive this XP bonus. After all of the XP bonuses are checked, if the troop is a bandit troop and you have the roguery perk, no rest for the wicked, they will get a bonus XP gain. The perk says plus 20% experience gain for bandits in your party. The code says if the party leader has the perk, an additional 20% of the XP bonus is added. So they get any of the bonuses that I just discussed that apply to them plus an additional 20%. This is another question I got in the Discord. 
This perk bonus is used after battles to give a bonus to XP gains from there, but it's also used with these passive XP gains as well. Another note, there are three governor perks that give XP to garrison troops on the daily tick. There is some additional logic that needs further investigation. I'll cover those in a future video. One other daily tick XP gain of note. This is for AI parties. If there's a party that's led by a Lord, so not bandit parties or guard parties or garrisons or other types of parties, and either that party is not in an army or if they are in an army, the player is not the army leader and that party is not in a battle or a siege and that party is not one of the player's clan parties. All of the troops in that party will gain XP. If the party leader is also the clan leader, the troops will get a bit more. The formula is troop tier times three plus 15 for the clan leader's party and troop tier times two plus 10 for the other parties. This is the XP gain for each troop in AI parties on each daily tick. This is only for troops in the party and not for the Lord running the party. Since the AI can't use the steward perks for donating gear for XP, this is what they get instead. Passive daily XP gains. I covered a lot here. I hope it helped. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Peace out.